What is going on, guys? This is the new thing that is about to drop down. We're about to get into intellectual property school. Now, this is going to be very different, very different than anything else I've ever done. So what's going to happen <clears throat> for the month of November? You can get in for a thousand bucks. You can get in for um, payments, payments of hundred bucks a month times 12. And this is going to be the curriculum. First of all, we're going to get into scripted days, mental discipline, the power of intellectual property, writing your first book for fun and profit, how to start a YouTube channel that sells products, which is very different than just starting a YouTube channel. You, there's certain things you got to do. How to make money with content, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit, and the YouTube ads course. So we're going to start with scripted days because, guys, you know what's going on. Everyone's trying to cancel me, but they can't cancel me. They can't. They can't do it. And you want to know why? You want to know why they can't cancel me? Because of this. And because of this. And because of this. And because of this. They can't cancel me because of intellectual property. They cannot cancel me. I want you to think about that. These folks are angry and leaving. They cannot cancel me because I have this. This is my secret power. Because I want to go to the management. I am the management. There's nothing these clowns can do. They cannot go tell on me. They can't get me fired. Because I. this is the power of intellectual property. You're seeing it. In living color, you're seeing the massive power. And I'm going to teach you all of my little tricks. And we're going to start with scripted days, middle discipline. There's probably going to be some other courses in here because you guys have got to get the foundational stuff. And then, you know, for some of you, like writing, writing my first book is what made me a millionaire. Because I got into it. So we're going to get into it. And there are probably going to be some more courses. But the link will be below if you want to get into the intellectual property school. How to make organic money. Or what I like to call pure internet money. And if you're in the corporate toolbox, you're going to get this. So you don't have to worry about signing up for it. You're going to get this. Now, if you're in the corporate papers, I will be sending out a discount link a little later. Because there, there's other than scripted days which I think everyone has. There's not a lot there. So give me a little time to get cooking. But I'm going to teach you how to create intellectual property that makes money. Right now, everyone's trying to cancel Glendon Cameron, but they can't because I have my own thing. I remember years and years ago, I was talking to um, Curtis Mayfield. He was a patient in the hospital. And he that just showed me the power. This man was paralyzed from the neck down. And because he had created intellectual property, he was able to support his family. That is crazy. That is crazy. So the links below and I will talk to you guys in the next in this video, because we're going to have a little fun in this video. <sighs> Something really interesting has happened during this event with me putting up that video and the people leaving their comments. And I am taking information from my car rental business and I am integrating it with data that I'm getting from all of the peanut gallery. And one of the things that I'm seeing, America's cool with being broke. America's really cool with being broke because I have seen Apparently, someone made a reaction video to my video about young women and people's like, you know, he's somebody got all this money and stuff. I am just amazed at how many people are comfortable living hand to mouth. They're cool with it because 
Let's talk about the financially reckless. I got another uh, car I had to turn off. It's got damage. And this is a consistent theme. If you're financially reckless, you're going to be reckless in other areas of your life. I've, th this is a consistent theme, a consistent theme it, without fail. The BMW, which um, hopefully they will get up and running today, they weren't paying and they damaged the car. This is a consistent theme. And, you know, I am, I'm beginning to see some stuff too. Um, money is important. And many people act like money not important. They act like, well, you know, if I have money, I'm good. If I don't have money, I'm good. You know, it's all about happiness. And I, I'm, I'm seeing some patterns. I'm seeing some patterns that are happening because, um, you know, once again, shout out to all of the supporters of Glendon Cameron. I really appreciate you guys because they're attacking you now. Because they came after me and they found out that wasn't working. He's like, he keep acting like he didn't put that video up. And I actually saw a comment. It's like, how come you haven't been canceled yet? See, this kind of goes back to my video where I was talking about most of America is stupid. Let me give you a rundown on how the legal system runs. Because so many people like, how come you're not in jail? How come you're not in jail? Number one, there's no victim. That's the first thing that's got to happen. Someone's got to come forward and say, Glendon Cameron did something to me and they got to have some evidence. They just can't lie. Well, you know, he did this. They, they got to have some evidence. So there are no victims. There was no crimes. That's why I'm not in jail. But to the average stupid American who hears something and they get in their feelings, low impulse control, low impulse control, they get in their feelings and it's like, well, this should happen. All right. So I got to press charges. Let me go ahead and explain to you. The chick who had the BMW, who had it and didn't pay me, got arrested. I still have to press charges, even though she was caught in the vehicle. She got arrested. I still have to press charges. See, there, there's certain things that most of you clowns don't know about the law, which is sad because you live in the United States of America, a country that's built upon the rule of law, and you know nothing about it. Because if you knew the law, and the lead attorney with his punk ass, he knows the law, and he knows there ain't no shit, there ain't no chance in hell of me going to jail. He knows this. But he must pander to his female base like a little bitch. Because if he, you know, if he goes ahead and tells them the truth that He's never going to jail. He's never going to jail. They're going to be like, but lead, you, you're supposed to be riding with us. How come this fool ain't going to jail? And also, let's talk about this. I've had people wish harm and bad things upon me because I got some young pussy. There are bigger problems in these people's lives, but they're worried about me getting some young pussy to the point that Ah, uh, and all these, all these moist men, it's like, man, I run into you. I'm going to have to mess you up. I am like, I think I saw one the other day. The guy was walking toward me because I was sitting down. Then I stood up and then he went the other way. I'm not a little person. <laughs> I'm 6'1", 250. So, you know, I, I'm not even worried about that. I'm not even worried about it because you know what? Most of you moist punks can't even fight. You, you don't even know. You didn't even grow up in the 60s and 70s where we used to fight for fun. We used to we used to put up dukes and fight for fun. So let's get back to the conversation where most of America's broke and why they're broke. I'm seeing this. Once again, let's go back and examine the people in my car rental business. Uh, you've got people who will rent a car with no plan. No plan whatsoever. They'll rent a car and they'll hope to make money. I got a situation with a girl. I just told her to bring the car back. This is one of the cars that doesn't have a GPS kill switch on it. And um, 
I'm going to send a demand letter and I'm going to have her arrested. I will be sending a demand letter today to her known last address because people get real lackadaisical when it comes to bringing the cars back. So once again, this month, we're not going to have what we had last month. Last month, each month gets better and better and better. <laughs> but she, once again, I'm very familiar with Uber and Lyft. If you get in your car and you consistently drive, you will make money. But that's the, that's the, that's the point. That's the issue. Uh, that so many people are incapable of a sustained and durable work ethic. This is what's killing so many people. They, they wake up. They have no strategy. They just start doing stuff. They start living. They go to lunch. They don't have a long-term dedicated strategy to making money. Like, I've got Lyft drivers who are making 9000 a month renting my cars. They have no problem paying me. But they get in their car and drive. And this is why rent-seeking, and if you don't know what rent-seeking is, rent-seeking is getting money without without an exchange of value or without creating value. Like, let's say this pen. I made this pen and I sold it to someone. So now they have the ability to pull the cap off and write. So that, that I gave them a little value. And for this value, for me selling this pen to them, they gave me money. <laughs> uh, this iPhone. Exchange of value. I paid, I don't know what I paid for this one. This, uh, I think it's a 12. Um, I can do things with a phone. That's exchange of value. Now, this is why people are piling into crypto. Because crypto can create money without you having to have an exchange. Crypto is pure rent seeking. <laughs> pure rent seeking. And this is where a lot of people are. They want to make money, but they don't want to work. They don't want to work. Uh, where I get my cars washed, the guy went down from a crew of 15. He's got like three or four people. People do not want to work, even if they need money. This is why I say America doesn't care about being broke. I don't have any money. Eh, that's okay. Um, I'm all right. I'm going to do whatever I can do. And this is why TikTok is so huge. Because these people have the inability to focus and concentrate on anything. Like, let's take these clowns leaving comments on videos that have nothing to do with it. They're trying to force a flimsy agenda. And, man, they get so mad when I delete their comments. I'm like, you be deleting comments, man. Stop deleting. Like, literally, it was like, stop deleting comments. Like, you going to tell me what to do on my own platform? Even though I rent this space from YouTube, it's officially mine. I can do what I want to. As long as I don't break the YouTube rules, I can do whatever I want. And, you know, like, hey, he stay deleting comments. And you know why I delete the comments? Because I know it messes with you and your little dopamine hits. When you leave a comment and a bunch of people like it, oh, you get that, that little, that little, little juice, that little hit, that get that little hit. And when I delete your comment, no one can like it. You don't get that hit. You get mad. You're like, man, stop deleting comments. Leave the comments up. I even had one chick. It's like, you know, if you could deal with the, the this, you're going to leave this comp. I'm like, guys, you don't tell me what to do. I know you want to cancel me, but you can't. And it's pissing you off because you and your little rah-rah and all of you YouTubers and all the other stuff, I'm still making money. <laughs> I'm still making money. I made enough money this month and the month just started. I can live all of next year on that money. We're only on the second day of November and I've already made enough money where I can live a whole next year, pay all my bills off that money. <laughs> so, the cancel Glendon Cameron campaign is woefully ineffective because I'm still getting money. 
I'm still making videos. I'm still doing what I'm doing. And this is why the broke America doesn't understand. One of the reasons that they cannot cancel me is because I built my own shit. They cannot mess with my platforms. There's no one to go run in and tell. They cannot cancel me. They can't. And, you know, it, it is funny because, you know, guys, I've had haters ever since I've been on YouTube. I just got more of them for this one thing. And as I look at the activity, I've literally had people make fake YouTube channels to leave comments because they want their attention. And this is something that's funny. And I, I finally figured it out. Why are all these people on these channels that have nothing to do with that video? They're waiting for me to implode. They're waiting for me to fail. They're waiting for a day that I come on here <laughs> crying and I'm going to stop. I'm going to go away. I'm gonna take... They're waiting for that moment and they will be waiting for fucking forever. I'm thinking about starting another channel. Yeah, I'm thinking about starting another channel. So that's why they're here. They're not here to learn anything. And someone made a very good comment. She said, instead of trying to cancel you, they should be observing the fact that you've been able to get away with this and she was like, I'm impressed. You've been able to do this and you got away with it. And you, you like, see, once again, shout out to all of the supporters of Glenn and Cameron and the things I do. You guys get it. And once again, these broke, unaccomplished, never do wells, that's you know, there, there are people who are rich who saw the video and they were not happy. But these are not the same people leaving all these comments and having these little comment parties. They want to sit there and just talk all kinds of smack about me on my platforms and I won't let them. And they're mad. They're mad. They're like, wait a minute. Stop deleting the comments, man. Leave them alone. Let, let, let us play. No. No. And then someone lied. It's like, there's sure are a lot of negative comments on one video. There was like none except for that one comment, which I deleted. They cannot stand the fact that I have a fan base. They can't stand the fact. Fun fact. And, you know, if you see this, I don't care because you've been canceled. One of my exes who wants to come back and have an instant relationship. She doesn't want to date and reacquaint ourselves. She wants to move in. She wants to get the girlfriend status that she used to have. And I was open to it, but then she started talking some crazy stuff, right? I met this chick through the Craigslist protocols. And I actually told her some stuff last night. It's like, you know, it's real funny. How did I meet you? I put up an ad on Craigslist. And you came over, and you let me fuck you and choke you. That's how I met you. I don't know what the shit, what the fuck you talking about with this internet stuff. That's how I met you through the Craigslist ads. She ain't had nothing to say. See, and this was like years ago, years and years ago. And she was, I think, 18 at the time. I think she's like 32 now. <laughs> And, you know, I was like, went ahead and I was like, oh, you on that bullshit? As a fact, I cannot. That's, I did it on this phone. I blocked her. I'm not talking to her anymore. I'm like, hey, you want to join that party? You want to join the losing team? Go right ahead. Because one of the issues, and this, this is something else too. At one point, she had gotten fat. She had gotten really fat. And I found a video the other day that she had recorded of us. And, you know, when you're with somebody, you're with them, and you don't really see these things, right? And when I saw this video, I was like, she's fat as hell. And 
she was in it to win it at that point. But she had gotten really fat because, like, I'm not like if I'm with you and you get fat, I'm not gonna dump you because you got fat. But um, you know, and then she was like some other stuff and some other stuff, and it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. And if you're watching this, you you made the wrong decision. You've made the wrong decision because on the trajectory that you're on, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse for you because you don't know how to do durable, sustained, long-term work. The problem that she has is the problem that many people in that, I think, 30% of America has an IQ of 80 or less. That's, that's, that's dumb. Okay. That's dumb. And I think she's in that category and she cannot focus. She cannot work. She cannot do the things that requires. And that's why she's in the financial situation that she's in. And that's why you America are in the financial situation. you're in. Like right now, there is so much opportunity. There are so many ways to make money. There are so many ways. It is easier now to become a millionaire than at any point in history. And many people are poor. Because let me tell you, but the global reset, you're going to see tent cities like the tent cities in California. That's going to spread to other states. Uh, you're going to see people who currently who live in a house. Two years from now, they'll be living in an apartment or they'll be homeless. You want to know why? Because they're focused on the wrong thing. Like all these clowns who are focused on me. What am I doing? I'm working. Like I'm waiting on my key guy to come get a key for this car. Then I'm going to go do some YouTube stuff. And I got some another little surprise. I'm going to launch for the corporate citizens. You're going to love it. And I'm just steadily working. And this is the thing. I don't have to work. I can retire tomorrow. But I enjoy working. I enjoy doing stuff. I enjoy building. I enjoy creating. I don't have to work. But you do. You should be working. And a lot of you will not be working. And a lot of you are going to be globally reset. Because your lack of a solid work ethic. And, you know, this is kind of funny because I saw some comments before Instagram got rid of my Instagram account. I'm like, yeah, I don't care if I'm broke. I'd rather be broke than to be a predator. Really? Really? And that, that nomenclature, I'm using the words you don't know because you, you're stupid and uneducated. Nomenclature. The nomenclature of being a predator is a false label that you're, you keep trying to fix to me because... I didn't go looking for these girls. They came to me. Just like the ex who wants to have an instant relationship. And this is what's so funny. She got all salty. You know what? If I was just to say, hey, I really miss you. Let's give it a good shot. She'd be back just like that. You want to know why? Because I am hard to replace. She can find another man. She can have sex with another man. She can find that easy. But can she find someone that can change her life like I can? Mm -mm. That's hard. That's hard. There's not a whole bunch of millionaires walking around, walking around that's going to give a chick like her a chance. It's not that many. And America, as you go ahead, and I'm, I'm seeing people make these lies. Because no one ever says anything about the 17-year-old. It's always 16, 14, and they're making jokes about uh, some of the women that I posted. It's like, oh, she looks like she's 14. Guys, let me just say this. Y'all really suck at insults. Y'all are really, really bad at it. You're not creative. You're not funny. They're just the product of a dumb mind. You're not creative. You're not special. And you're going to be globally reset. While I'm going to be living above the city of Atlanta with a nice view drinking champagne, driving the Porsche, eating steak while you continue to go down. And this is the thing that you guys who are being globally reset don't understand. This will be the inheritance of your children. 
This is what the legacy you're going to leave for your children because you are never do well. You're not doing well. You're not trying to build anything. This is the DNA embedded activities that you're going to pass on to your children. So you're going to be a, a bum and your kids are going to be bums and their kids are going to be bums. This is how it goes. Uh, for those of you who are interested, it's here on YouTube. Check out the wonderful whites of West Virginia. It is a case of poor white trash. The wonderful whites of West Virginia are very much like the black folks in the ghetto. Same pathology, high drug use, high incarceration, single motherhood, lack of education, same pathology, same pathology, same results, same pathology, same lives, just different spots. They're up in the hills, they're up in the mountains of West Virginia. Like, check it out. It will blow your mind what these folks are doing. And one of the things that we will talk about and one of the things that we will get into going forward, because uh, once again, guys, like I did that video to my supporters, when they just start messing with you, say your piece and leave it alone, because they, they, they're going to try to convince you not to follow me. They've already tried working on me and they, they're like, this nut's too hard to crack. So let's go ahead and move to the support system. And a lot of you guys are giving them the business because see, this is one of the things that America, the broke, the uneducated, the uh, unaccomplished, the highly, and see that this is something else too. These people claim to have high morals, but they steal, they cheat, and they lie. But they claim to have high morals. And it's a very funny thing with um, this situation because um, I was also speaking to another chick, a more positive conversation that I met through the Craig's Protocols. And she was, um, she was like 19 when I met her. And she's like, I don't really understand why so many people are losing their mind over this. She says, I met you when I was young. I enjoyed everything that we did. I don't get it. And there's a lot of folks who are starting to ask questions because, see, what is starting to happen, and like on the, when I was on the lead punk-ass attorney show, I said, we'll see what happened in six months. When I run experiments, I don't run short-term experiments. See, when you run an experiment, you got to have a long runway so you can check your data. And I'm already starting to see that some people who was part of the rah rah cancel glendon cameron cancel glendon cameron are starting to become fans some of these people are like this guy's got a lot of really good content because people are coming to you know like i'm gonna have a whole bunch of videos like that one video i knew that when i made that video there was a good chance that youtube would remove it because I've been doing YouTube for 12 years. I know how YouTube gets down. I know, So I don't have any other videos like that on the platform. None. And that's what people are coming in. It's like, and I, I'm starting to see that some people and like people's like, yeah, I was like on this. And I'm, I'm like, I, I start, got on this playlist. And I'm, a lot of these folks are going to become fans. And this is just going to piss off the hardcore haters. Because there are people with what's called a fixed mindset. Once something goes in their mind, that's just the way it is. It will never change. These people are incapable of growth, maturity, and seasoning. They're stuck. There's a book by, um, it's on Amazon, The Fixed Mindset Versus the Growth Mindset. Now, I have a growth mindset. I'm open to a lot of things. Whereas these people with these fixed and sexually repressed moralistic stances. Like, you know, it's kind of funny. And someone's, you know, and people been putting, it's like, where's all this heat for um, Cynthia G wishing death upon young black babies? See, these simps and the majority of the folks who are making these YouTube videos are simps. They're poor. They're uneducated. They've never done shit in life. They're just see this as an opportunity. And see, there's a season here. This is a season. 
And what, what happens with seasons? Seasons change. They're like fresh and fit. They went through it. Then now that they rebound it very nicely. And what I'm going to do is rebound even. Well, I never actually went down. I lost 600 subscribers on this channel, 400 subscribers on the other channel. So that's a total of a thousand subscribers. I mean, okay. Fuck them. Because you can't get what you were getting here anywhere else. And I have a feeling that some of them are going to come back and continue to keep watching. Even though they may not be subscribed, they're going to keep watching. Because YouTube will kind of push content like that. But, yeah, a lot of America doesn't care about being broke. And they are um, going to stay that way. Because they're not focused on building something productive, being gainfully employed. Mm -mm. They seek comfort and entertainment. And for a lot of folks, this is entertainment. They come to the channels and they're expecting to see a meltdown, an implosion. And these folks don't know me. They have no clue to who I am. They have no clue to how mentally tough I am. They have no clue. And they will get tired long before I will. Long before I will. Because... Um, one of the things that you've got to understand is why people are hating, I will be making money. I will be making a lot of money. That's what I'm going to do. Like I said, two days, I already made enough money. I can live all next year, pay all my bills easily. While you're struggling to eke out an existence and then you look going for it. And this is, a, for a lot of people, this is a distraction. They come to YouTube to rant and rave and leave their comments because their lives suck. I guarantee you, folks who are happy, well, mentally well-adjusted, they're not leaving comments. They saw the video and it's like, I don't like that. And that was the beginning and end of it. But for you fools who keep coming and leaving comments on the channel, on videos that have nothing to do with it, let me tell you about yourselves. You're stupid. That's number one. Number two, you have low impulse control which is going to get you in a lot of trouble. I used to date this chick by the name of Bailey. Bailey was a superstar. Bailey had been arrested five times. Low impulse control. And that's where you are. As long as you keep wedded to your low impulse control and doing all this stuff because it makes you feel good and you're having fun and you're enjoying yourself, you will remain forever poor. And then your children will be poor. And then their children will be poor. The social economic class that you're born in is typically the one that you will die in. Statistically. And you guys are doing a really good job of rooting into being mediocre, being poor, and never having anything and never building anything. So congratulations. Keep hating on me. I eat that shit up for breakfast. Because your hate it's just going to elevate me. It's just going to elevate me. So while you get poorer and poorer, and I can get to laugh at you, because one of the things that's so interesting about all of this is that people saw this as an opportunity for a moment. I see this as an opportunity for the next five years. Because with that video and all of this conjuring up, I am still getting people subscribing to the Lost Kings. I'm still getting people subscribing to uh, Sav Savage Money. And I'm getting people subscribing here to Hustlers Kung Fu. I'm still getting people coming in. I know y'all hate that because you ain't never done shit in life. You've never built anything in life. And see, once again, watch me work while you're sitting around here being stupid, doing dumb shit. I'll be building, creating, and making money. And also be having a very good life. A very good life. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.